Okay, so the next part of the law of conservation of momentum that requires explanation is the word conservation. So what does it mean if something is conserved? Well, there are multiple different ways to think about this, but they all kind of circle around the same ideas. And so the way that I think about this is the following. So my definition of conservation is the total amount of a conserved quantity stays the same given some conditions. Okay, so that could mean a few different things in a few different cases. So it might mean that nothing changes at all. Um, so an example of a case where um, conservation might mean that nothing changed is in chemistry. The number of atoms of each type is conserved. So for instance, if you do a reaction in a closed container and there's some number of sulfur atoms before the reaction, there's exactly the same number of sulfur atoms after the, rea after the reaction. Nothing changed. Um, same amount of all the kinds of atoms before and after. Okay, um, but we can have something change. So um, conservation wouldn't be very interesting if it always just meant nothing changed. Um, and so one thing it could mean is that we might have a transfer. So a transfer from one place to another. Okay, so for, for example, um, money is conserved under everyday circumstances. And so um, if you do a transaction, if I buy something, then money goes from me to the person who's selling me something and the amount of money stayed the same. So that's an example of a transfer. Um, another thing that might happen is we might have something that changes forms. Okay, so an example you're probably fairly familiar with is in um, energy. So we talk about energy being conserved. Um, if you have um, some sort of, say, flashlight or your phone, um, chemical energy um, gets uh, changed into, let's say, light. So that is a change of forms for energy. The amount of energy stays the same, but the type has changed. Um, and then the last part I want to draw your attention to is the conditions. Okay, so the conditions are important, and there are always conditions. Okay, so um, the conditions are different in each case, and I'm going to give you some examples in the next video. But if the conditions are not met, then something that is not required to be conserved. So conservation laws always have rules. Sometimes they're implied, but they're always there. Um, and sometimes we might just not know what the rules are. So sometimes in physics, we have something we think is conserved, and then you know new experiments will show that it is possible to violate that. Um, often we have conservation laws that we think of as sort of universally true. The total amount of something stays exactly the same. But we can still have um, a conserved quantity that changes in a particular region by having something transfer out of that region, for instance. And that's usually what the conditions are going to to catch um, in this class.